is about to begin. Dr. Lincoln Edwards presiding. for the College of Education and Leadership, Gibran Winden. <laughs> oh, Marshall, Mrs. Belinda Bramwell. Ladies and gentlemen, candidates for the doctoral degrees from the College of Education and Leadership. Following, we have candidates for the master's degree from the College of Education and Leadership. All other candidates from the College of Education and Leadership. Put your hands together. The Gonfalon for the College of Natural Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing, Romario Beecher. Oh. Bearer of the Gonfalon for the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing. Candidates for the master's degrees from the College of Natural Applied Sciences, a health, a Allied Health and Nursing. Put your hands together and all other candidates.
Ladies and gentlemen, faculty members from the College of Education and Leadership, the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing, the School of Religion and Theology, and they are entering based on rank, our professors, associate professors, assistant professors, and instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have our deans, our registrar, our vice presidents, and our provosts all coming at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, the president and his party.
We have our president, our board chair, our co-chair, other members, our guest speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem. Gentlemen, I invite you to take off your mortar boards as we pray. Everlasting Father, thank you for granting us the opportunity to see this day. Thank you for journeying mercies to be here today. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought the graduates of 2023 to this end. Lord, as we come to celebrate with them, May today's experience be a memorable one. May today, Lord, as they start a new chapter in their lives, that you, the God who has been there with them, will continue to be there with them. We know, Lord, that some of them will have difficult times, but we pray, Father, that you will grant them the peace that passes all understanding. We ask, Lord, that as they explore new opportunities, that you will provide these new opportunities for them. Be with each participant of this service, now we ask. Lord, we pray that all of us gathered here today will continue to serve you, will seek to serve you, will seek to love you. We place this program, this service in your hands. We place this university in your hands. We pray in your son's holy name. Amen. Professor Lincoln Edwards, President, Northern Caribbean University, and Mrs. Edwards and their guest, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica, represented by Senator the Honorable Aubyn Hill, Minister of Industry, Investment, and Commerce, Dr. Leonard Johnson, Executive Secretary of the Inter-American Division of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and Mrs. Johnson, Pastor Peter Kerr, President Atlantic Caribbean Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and Vice Chairman of the University Board, and Mrs. Kerr and their guest, other members of the University Board and their spouses, Dr. Ephraim 
Velasquez, President of the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary, and Mrs. Velasquez and their guest, Mr. Harold Clayton, President of the North American Northern Caribbean University Alumni Association, and Mr. Danito Mari, Director of Alumni Affairs and Advancement at the Northern Caribbean University, presidents and officers and workers of the Inter-American Division, the Jamaica Union Conference, and the Atlantic Caribbean Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, members of the Jamaican government and the parliamentary opposition, Mr. Freddie Figures, Chief Executive Officer, Figures Communication, Inc., Florida, United States of America, and his guest, Mrs. Shirley Henriquez, retired nursing educator and community service pioneer of the Cayman, Cayman Islands, and the 2023 recipient of the Northern Caribbean University Doctor of Science degree, and Dr. Ivor Harry, President, Directors, Officers, and Members of the Cayman Islands Conference, celebrating with Mrs. Henriquez and her guests, other guest speakers, and commencement honorees of the graduation weekend, specially invited guests, civic leaders, members of the diplomatic corps, administration, faculty, staff, and students of Northern Caribbean University, alumni, family, guardians, and friends joining us physically and on any of our virtual platforms. Members of the graduating class of 2023, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I deemed it a pleasure on behalf of the Board of Governors and the Jamaica Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists to welcome you to this, the 100th graduation exercises of this institution, and to offer our heartiest congratulations to you, members of the graduating class of 2023. Today we celebrate with you, your family members and friends, this major milestone in your life. The Board of Governors wishes to thank the administration, faculty, and staff of the university under the able leadership of our president, Dr. Lincoln Edwards, for your successful execution of the plans and programs of the university during this, the 2022 to 2023 academic year. We thank you for your Christian service and commend you for your continued focus on the mission of NCU to provide quality Christ-centered education to your students. To our faithful parents, guardians, and other stakeholders of the university, we once again express our gratitude to you for your unflinching support and invite you to continue the journey with us as we prepare men and women for service to God and humanity. Class of 2023, as proud members of this 100th graduation class, we salute and commend you for your resilience, courage, and tenacity. You have risen above the negative effects of COVID-19, defied the odds that were against you, surmounted many financial challenges along the way, and today you have achieved your academic goal. You are a winner. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Go forward. Build on the rich legacy 
of those who have walked the halls of this noble institution before you. With God as your anchor, mission is a distinct possibility, and your future, and the future of NCU is secure. God bless you. Thank you. Accept your greetings, and have a wonderful day. It is a great joy and honor for me to be a part of this grand celebration here today and to be representing the Atlantic Caribbean Union in extending greetings to Dr. Lincoln Edwards, to the administration, faculty, staff, and students of the Northern Caribbean University, and also to extend the heartiest of congratulations to this incredibly resilient graduating class of 2023. You are the class making history today, being the 100th graduating class of this noble institution that God planted on this hill. So I bring greetings and congratulations from Dr. Cheryl Roll, our Executive Secretary, and from Ella Roderick Sands, our Treasurer. From our conference leaders in the Cayman Islands, and uh, happy to have Dr. Harry here celebrating with Sister Sherlyn Henriquez, of whom we are so proud. We bring greetings from North Bahamas Conference and South Bahamas, and from the beautiful by nature, Turks and Caicos Islands. You know, my Jennifer and I attended your class program yesterday afternoon. We were intending to spend just a few minutes, <laughs> but we were so positively impacted by what we saw and what we heard that we remained glued to our seats. We could not leave until the very last moment. We, through that program, are experiencing a very special bond with this class of 2023. We know that NCU is a place where miracles happen every day. And for you who are exiting this institution, we have to congratulate you for your resilience, for your enduring spirit, your inner strength and courage, and for your strong, abiding faith in God that brought you through the years of your study here, which includes, of course, the years of COVID, the pandemic with all the associated challenges that came its way, the curfews and the lockdowns and the face masks and the social distancings and the contact tracings and the on online classes and online church and online socials and, of course, the financial hardships and, yeah, the terrible pain of sickness and death. But your presence here today, my friends, is strong proof that we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Today you are joining, therefore, a vast army of dedicated, talented, and consecrated young men and women who, like you, have experienced the joy and the thrill and the excitement of what success looks like and what it feels like through the years of celebration of events like this one. So thank you for choosing NCU as the institution that would prepare you for this historic moment. May God walk with you as you depart these hallowed halls and go forward embracing the mission and envisioning the future.
Mr. President, the candidate for the Honorary Doctor of Science degree is unable to join this ceremony in person, but will join us virtually from the Georgetown Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Cayman Islands. The candidate, Mrs. Charlene Henriquez, will be robed by Dr. Joan Latty and Dr. Livingston Smith at this time. Mr. President, I am pleased to present to you today the candidate for the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Florence Nightingale once said, I attribute my success to this. I never give or took any excuse. Our own Charlene Henriquez shares the same sentiments, ergo a life dedicated to nursing, education, and community development. 
Mrs. Charlene Henriquez's contributions to the development of the Cayman Islands nursing sector and commitment to community service have been recognized in the Cayman Islands and validated by awards from the government, the health services, and the Seventh-day Adventist Conference of the Cayman Islands. In 2021, she became an officer of the Order of the Cayman Islands for distinguished service to nursing and the community. And in 2004, her 34 years of nursing service was capped by her appointment to the role of Chief Executive Officer of the Cayman Islands Health Services Authority. The first Caymanian to be qualified with a bachelor's degree in nursing and a member of the first graduating class of the Department of Nursing from the Northern Caribbean University, formerly West Indies College, captioned the Big Six of 1974. She added to her qualifications the Master in, hos in Hospital Administration in 1984. Her illustrious nursing career has involved her pioneering service and continued work in the care of AIDS patients, for which she earned in 1995 the Cayman Islands Certificate and Badge of Honor. As in service education coordinator, she introduced the licensed practical nurses training at the island's only hospital at that time. In 2008, although retired as CEO of the Cayman Islands Health Services Authority, she continued to serve as consultant to the island's health practitioners board and as registrar for the medical and dental, nursing and midwifery, pharmacy and professions allied to health licensing boards. She's also active in volunteerism, having led a team of 17 to build a health clinic in Mosquito Coast, Honduras. She served on the boards of the Northern Caribbean University and Andrews Memorial Hospital, is a founder and coordinator of a community soup kitchen and the commercial grade Manor House Pantry. And even though a 2019 car accident has left Mrs. Henriquez confined to a wheelchair, she nevertheless continues her invaluable service. Today, Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the Northern Caribbean University, I am pleased to present Mrs. Shirlene Henriquez as a worthy candidate for the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. I am delighted to accept the recommendation that Mrs. Charlene Enriquez be conferred with the Honorary Doctor of Science degree by Northern Caribbean University. Today, Mrs. Enriquez, Northern Caribbean University pays tribute to you for your outstanding service to humanity for your local and international contribution in the field of nursing and for your continued national public service. We laud you for being an example of excellence in service, stewardship, community service, and uprightness. At this time, I invite Dr. Ivor Harry to present Mrs. Enriquez with the degree instrument. So, Mrs. Enriquez, by the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors of Northern Caribbean University as President 
on this 13th day in the month of August, in the year of our Lord 2023, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, and let us give Mrs. Enriquez a round of applause. I move now to the President's remarks, and I stand on the protocol that has already been established by Pastor Brown, our board chairman. Today is indeed a special day. Today, you will agree with me, is a historic day in the life of Northern Caribbean University. This commencement ceremony, under the theme Embrace the Mission, Envision the Future is occurring 100 years after our first graduation exercise on this site in 1923. This historic ceremony is occurring during the fourth year of the second century of NCU in Manchester. I welcome all of you online and in person to this 2023 commencement ceremony here at Northern Caribbean University, NCU. I welcome you on behalf of the class of 2023, this historic class that has survived the ravages of COVID-19 and whose achievements we are here to recognize and celebrate. And so I invite a round of applause for this historic class. Congratulations. I welcome you on behalf of the Board of Governors who provide policy direction, oversight, and guidance to this outstanding institution. And I, at this time, I invite board members and their spouses or guests to stand and be recognized. A round of applause for our board members. And if there are other board members who have served in the past 100 years, you are invited to stand and be recognized as well. We'd, lo we'd love to welcome you. I welcome you on behalf of the faculty whose dedication to mission, the success of our students, commitment to excellence, and the building of character, creativity, and competence in our students is on parallel among educational institutions in the region. And so I invite all our faculty past and present, to stand and be recognized. This is indeed a celebration. A round of applause for our faculty. Thank you. I welcome you on behalf of our administrators who spent countless hours pre and post COVID-19 wrestling with difficult challenges and implementing strategies to help the university function in a cohesive manner during this period of very serious challenges in academia. I invite our, our administrators to stand and be recognized. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I welcome you on behalf of our dedicated, sacrificial, and industrial staff who accomplished so much for us, sometimes functioning under less than ideal conditions. Our custodial staff, the culinary staff, the ground staff have done an outstanding job. And I invite them, wherever they are, to stand and receive your applause. We owe them a debt of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, staff members. Over the past century, NCU has been a beacon of light on this hilltop. It has been a center of intellectual pursuits and a refuge for many students who had potential but lacked access, the access that NCU eventually provided. The visionaries who laid the foundation of this institution 
and those who in later years built on its rich traditions believed in the transformative power of education and as such executed the dream of creating a place of learning that would prepare students for this life and for eternity. And now, 100 years after our first graduation on this campus, graduates, you are the living embodiment of that dream. So congratulations. Over the past decades, this university has provided growth opportunities for many students who have gone on to do great things and leave their mark on society. Our graduates have distinguished themselves in various areas of society, including, but not limited, to serving as ministers of government, premier, president of the Bahamian Senate, speaker of the Jamaican House of Representatives, members of parliament, executives of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, officers of various divisions, leaders of unions and conferences within the Seventh-day Adventist organizations and elsewhere, both home, at home and abroad, university presidents and other leaders within the educational system, authors, media personnel at various media houses, including the BBC, TVJ, CVM, GIS. They have been hoteliers, business leaders, medical personnel, hospital administrators, scientists, members of the judiciary, singers, artists, and the list goes on, even the wife of a governor general. During this academic year, we operated under the afflatus of the Holy Spirit and with the guidance of the Board of Governors, the creativity and competence of our students, coupled with the dedication of our workers, alumni and friends, we have achieved a number of things and I will highlight a few. The Adventist Accrediting Association renewed its accreditation of the Northern Caribbean University until December 31st, 2025. The University Council of Jamaica, our next accreditor, conducted its mid-cycle evaluation of the Northern Caribbean University and has approved continuance of the institutional accreditation status of the NCU until February 16, 2025, having determined from the mid-cycle evaluation that the university has maintained the standards for institutional accreditation. Our graduates and others should know that the University Council of Jamaica is covered or is certified by ISO 9001. And so graduates, the credits you have earned at NCU are widely accepted across the world. The Emerging Leaders of America's program, which is sponsored by the Canadian government, continue to benefit our students. And so during this academic year, undergraduate students Janice Davis and Samuel Wilson studied at Brock University in Ontario, Canada, joining some over 19,000 other students. Also for the first time, a NCU graduate student, Hortense Brown, secured a six-month ELAP scholarship to advance her doctoral research at Memorial University in Newfoundland, Canada. The Global PhD in Nursing program at Loma Linda University is a highly competitive international scholarship program with only six persons from across the entire 13 or so divisions of the General Conference worldwide being awarded this scholarship for admittance into the program this year. I am pleased to announce that nurse John L. Miller, an ass assistant professor in the School of Nursing at, right here at NCU, is among the six persons to have received this scholarship.
the university entered into a number of important partnerships which will result in the development or signing of very important memoranda of understanding. A memorandum of understanding was signed with the Heart Trust NSTA, which will provide, among other things, joint training of students, sharing of resources, and the matriculation of heart graduates into NCU degree programs. MOU was also signed with the Ministry of Agriculture, which will result in the development of a national organic policy, which will guide the development of organic farming in Jamaica. An MOU was signed with East Virginia University, which will result in, among other things, deployment of resources to NCU and the development of opportunities for faculty and staff. This summer, research professor Dr. Jacqueline Vigilance and research assistant Lorenzo Gunther visited each East Virginia University Medical School to be trained in a number of cutting-edge research techniques. Dr. Milton Brown, who is Vice Dean for Research at East Virginia Medical School, is spearheading the development of the MOU, which will make their molecular biology core facilities and other research facilities available to NCU faculty and graduate students. So stay tuned for more about that. We also signed a MOU with Andrews University in Bering Springs, Michigan. This will allow qualified students who were not accepted into our nursing program at NCU due to space limitation to have a chance to pursue their career at Andrews University. The terms of the MOU dictate that eligible students will spend two years at NCU taking general courses and then transition to Andrews University to spend a further two years to complete their bachelors of science in nursing from Andrews University. Students admitted into the program would receive a $28,000 United States dollar, that is, scholarship from Andrews University. And there are other things that could accompany that. Advent Health and Kettering Health in the United States are working closely with NCU to further strengthen our nursing program here at NCU. Advent Health has donated United States $100,000 over three years plus computers and medical supplies. Kettering Health has donated US $70,000 in simulation assistance and we thank them for their generosity. The Digicel Foundation provided NCU with a $2 million, that's Jamaican dollar, grant to train youths in digital entrepreneurship. Training was effected through the Morris Entrepreneurship Center, led by Mrs. Hazel O'Connor. 35 students were trained, all developed a website for their businesses and are operating online. While 32 of the 35 completed the program and graduated, the benefactors of the program of the Morris Entrepreneurship Center, Milton and Mary Lee Morris, will be celebrating their 60th anniversary on Saturday, August 26, and we offer them our highest congratulations. The MEC also trained 50 small farmers in how to budget and market their business online. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, provided a grant of United States uh, dollars, 22,000 US dollars to NCU to develop a hydroponics program to train youths in this area of agriculture. Professor Vincent Wright was the lead uh, principal investigator on this project. The Carnegie Foundation donated Jamaican $1.5 million to NCU's cancer research. Mrs. Beverly Henry and team spearheaded the project and now she is raising funds to purchase a bus for the nursing department. So if you see her come around, you know why. The Whitford and Inga Reed Foundation donated US $20,000 to the simulation program in the Department of Nursing. 
The American ambassador to Jamaica, His Excellency N. Nick Perry, visited the campus of NCU, um, where he met with administrators and toured the robotics lab. Dr. Damian Mitchell and Mr. Tracy introduced him to the family of robots and the truck driving simulators created and assembled by Mr. Tracy and, and his team. The ambassador did enjoy the simulated ride. Chair of the NCB, that's the National Commercial Bank Foundation, Mrs. Thalia Lynn used the opportunity to show her support and that of the family of the late Hyacinth Chen by donating Jamaican $500,000 to aid the development of the simulation program in the School of Nursing. The spiritual life on campus is vibrant and a number of activities took place. Fall week of prior theme was building character and the speaker was Pastor Dane Al Fletcher, Youth and Chaplaincy Ministries Director at the Jamaica Union. Spring week of prior theme was defying the odds and the speaker was Pastor Andre Johnson, Personal Ministries Director and Special Assistant to the President for Evangelism at the West Jamaica Conference. Students also led out in a series entitled TikTok Relationships. Several persons were baptized as a result of these efforts. The, the research week, KG VAS lectures, and other activities continued on the campus. The, the NCU Educational Development Foundation launched its website in March of this year. This foundation has 501c3 status, and so donations to NCU through the foundation are tax deductible, and we encourage you to give through the foundation. I pause here to recognize that the chair of the NCU Educational Development Foundation, Professor Bertram Lloyd Melbourne, will this October be conferred with the Order of Distinction Commander Class for outstanding contribution in the field of education, mentorship, counseling service, and to the Jamaican Embassy in Washington, D.C., in the United States. We offer our congratulations to Professor Milburn. And right here at NCU, our very own Professor Marilyn Jane Anderson. Professor Anderson, would you stand, please? Professor Marilyn Jane Anderson will, in October, be conferred with the Order of Distinction in the rank of Officer for Service in the Field of Academia. It is our custom here at NCU to celebrate excellence. And so, permit me to mention those students with the highest distinction among graduate students. And for this morning, we have Audrey Morgan Francis, 4.0 GPA from the College of Education. Audrey, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Pauline Fullerton, 3.97 GPA from the College of Education and Lee. Pauline, please stand and be recognized. And the others I will mention at the second commencement. Then we have, among the undergraduates, those with the highest honors. Imani Adonis. Imani, please stand. She's graduating summa cum laude with a 3.92 GPA. We also have Garcia Gordon, summa cum laude, 3.92. Thank you. It is always a special moment when we have family members graduating together. And today we have siblings Giovanni Brown, Bachelors of Arts in Religion and Theology, and Abigail Brown, Bachelors of Science in Biological Science. Abigail, where are you? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
In 2017, the NCU launched the Rescue Program. Rescue is an acronym for restoring every student's confidence using education to provide access to students from underserved communities who have abilities but do not have the means to afford tertiary education. This intervention program was partly intended to mitigate the impact of criminal gangs on vulnerable persons. Individuals receive assistance through this program as funds are available. And uh, they graduate to become ambassadors for the transformation of their communities. Last year, 11 students graduated, some with honors, who received assistance from the program. This year, we have five students who are graduating from this pro uh, graduating who have received assistance from the program. And in our first graduation, we have one person whom I will mention. This young lady, in 2016, she lost both her parents 13 days apart. Her story was carried in the Star paper, and when we saw it, Nadine Campbell was commissioned to seek her out, and when she was found, she came to Northern Caribbean University as part of the rescue program. And today I am pleased to announce that Iris Bailey is graduating with her Bachelor of Arts in Teacher Education. Iris, please stand wherever you are. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you, Iris. I'd also like to mention that Pauline Fullerton from the College of Education and Leadership is today celebrating her 23rd wedding anniversary in 2023. Pauline, stand and be recognized. Congratulations. <laughs> NCU believes in family values and the advancement of the family. We therefore are pleased to celebrate with our workers whose children are graduating today. Andrew Gooden, a technical assistant in the library, is celebrating with his son, Andrew Gooden Jr., who is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems. <laughs> Father and son, would you stand and be recognized? <laughs> Mr. Huntley Hansen, Assistant Facilities Manager, is celebrating with his daughter, his daughter Ruth Han, who is graduating with her Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Both father and daughter, will you stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Netanya Bent Burton, an instructor in the nursing department, is celebrating with her daughter, Elizabeth Burton, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Biological Science. Mother and daughter and other family members, that are here, stand and be recognized. Monica Bryant, a program coordinator at the Montego Bay campus, is celebrating with her son, Tajay Bryant, who is graduating today with his bachelor's in computer science. Again, we invite the family to stand and share this moment. In concluding my remarks, much has been said about the low ratio of males to females in tertiary education. There are, however, some areas where males outnumber females. At NCU, in the computer information systems uh, class, the ratio is 79 males to 22 females. In computer science, it's 50 males to 25 females. In information technology, it's 40 males to 10 females. And so I urge the policymakers to provide resources in these areas to attract more males. Agriculture should be infused with technology so that more males will be attracted. Finally, in the female-dominated profession of nursing, the most outstanding student among the nursing graduates today is a male, Siobhan Thomas, cum laude. Siobhan, stand and be recognized. And so it is fair to say that our males 
are responding to the call to do better. Congratulations to all our graduates. You have done well. It is now my pleasure to introduce the speaker for our first commencement. He was born in the United States in 1989. Our speaker, Freddie Figures, was abandoned by his biological parents, but was brought up with love and kindness by two older adoptive parents, who kindled his enthusiasm for fixing things and inspired his work in smart health. He now runs the first black-owned telecommunications company in the United States. When Freddie was nine, his father bought him an old computer to play around with. He had previously enjoyed tinkering with his father's collections of radios and alarm clocks. And when he opened the computer, he saw which components were broken. He realized that he could fix it with component from one of his dad's old radios, and soon his computer was working again. At age 12, he attended an after-school club and began fixing the school's old computers. His skill impressed the club's leader, who was the local mayor, and soon Freddie was being paid to repair computers for the mayor's office in the city of Quincy, Florida. A few years later, Quincy needed, the city of Quincy needed a new system to ensure that everyone's water pressure was correct. A company offered to create software for $600,000 to monitor the water pressure gauges. Freddie, now 15, and still working with the mayor, offered to create a low-cost program, and this saved the city thousands of dollars. He soon offered to other contracts and used the money to set up his own computing business. He then heard about an insurance company in another city that had lost all of its customer records during a tornado. That gave him the idea to set up an easy retrieval cloud computing service which could save data in, di could, uh, save data in different places. Then, when his aged father developed dementia and would wander off, ingenious Freddy rigged his dad's shoes with a GPS detector and a two-way communication connected to his computer, which allowed him to talk to his dad through the shoes if he, in any time he went missing. Freddie later sold his shoe tracker for over two million US dollars. <laughs> Growing up in a rural area, he knew that mobile phone coverage and access to the internet was not as good as in larger city, cities, so he decided to set up his own telecommunications company. After several applications to the Federal Communications Commission, at age 21, Freddie became the youngest and the first black person in the United States to own a telecommunication company that created affordable smartphones with multi-user profiles. Additionally, the death of his granduncle from a diabetic coma inspired him to create a network blood glucose meter that can link wirelessly to any mobile phone, providing blood glucose measurements to healthcare teams and family members. Finally, he has created a hidden figures, he calls it, which is a scholarship to encourage young people in the United States to engage in tech careers. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I invite you to join me in welcoming our speaker for this first commencement, Mr. Freddie Figures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and all of the bright and promising class of 2023. I stand before you today humbled and honored to be a part of this momentous occasion. 
at Northern Caribbean University, a place where your minds are forged, a place where your minds are neutral, a place where you, all of your dreams are conceived and your futures are forged. Today I want to talk to you about hope and inspiration and about an undesired potential that each one of you hold within. As you travel through this journey that we call life, thank you, as we travel through this journey, what we call life, I want to share a theme and a story with you about a young man. A little bit about a life story that he faced challenges and things that he went through and how he became a beacon of success. This young man was someone who dared to dream. This young man was abandoned at birth. He was threw in a dumpster. This young man never met his biological mother, never met his biological father, but he was adopted by a 68-year-old man and a 54-year-old woman. This family took them in, this young man in, and raised them as their own. With two loving, nurturing parents, they saw the potential in him. There were many obstacles on the road, to, and it wasn't easy. But with hope, he carried through. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a story about that. At the age of nine, this young man went with his father to a thrift store and purchased a non-working Macintosh computer, 1989, for 23 American dollars. This computer didn't work. He took it home. He took it apart. His father was a maintenance worker at one of the local universities. So his father had a soldering gun. And if you know a soldering gun, it's pretty interesting where you can solder and take apart different components. So this young man went around his father's home taking apart alarm clocks, VCRs, television, and re-solder them back together. This young man, about 50 different attempts, he was able to get that computer to working. At the age of 12, this young man started writing computer software. He had a passion for technology. Ladies and gentlemen, that young man was me. So dear graduates, you are now standing in a threshold of, of a world that is a mission that you can accomplish. Whatever your mind can conceive, you will achieve. At the age of 13, my father started developing dementia Alzheimer's. So 5 a.m. in the morning, he would just wander off. He would leave home completely naked, no shoes, just on, only his shoes that he had on, sorry. Being a little tinker that I was, I took apart a cell phone and built those components inside of his shoe. I integrated that with a WAN car, a 3G GPRS, 90 megahertz microphone, a speaker, and integrated an API with Garmin TomTom, Tom and linked that connecting to my Windows ME computer. So at any given time, I could press a button and say, hey, dad, where are you? And I would come in as a loudspeaker on his shoe. Then my computer would give me the radius location, and I could jump in his car and go pick him up. At the age of 17, I sold that program to a private equity firm for $2.2 million. But on that same day, I learned that money is nothing but a tool. Because that same man that took me in and raised me as his own and gave me his last name, Transition. So with that, I started the Figures Communication. In Figures Communication, we are an American telecommunications company. We manufacture our own cell phones, cell phone electronics, consumer goods, and healthcare devices. We are the only black-owned telecommunications company in America that operate as a single operator in the 700, 900, 1700, and 2100 megahertz band. Thank you. And just to go a little, a little bit further, I know for some that the future may seem uncertain. 
and the path may look very unclear. But when hope come in, hope is just merely a word. It's a living force and an empowerment that pushes us to strive and dream and to become more. Hope inspires to become more. In my own life, hope allowed me to see beyond my circumstances. I taught myself how to repair a broken computer at the age of nine, and I developed my first computer software application at the age of 12. By the time I was 21, I had over 80 custom applications that I have sold to multinational corporations around the world. But I didn't stop there. I did not let my barriers that I saw that challenged me every day to stop my dream. Every day, every single day, your mind has anywhere between 60 to 75,000 thoughts. Every single day. Make those thoughts count. Make those thoughts inspire. Make those thoughts aspire. Make those thoughts change the world for the better. 90% of the average human, those thoughts are from yesterday. As you see it here, everyone is probably thinking something from yesterday. If you're thinking from yesterday, you are trapped from those thoughts in yet from yesterday. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on anything that you can't control and already has happened. You control your future. You control your thoughts. Command your thoughts. Command your mind. Your mind can be your worst enemy and it can be your best friend. Self-doubt is something that we all have had before. You've got family, you've got friends that say you can't do it, it's not gonna work, but everyone has an opinion. Do not let the thoughts of others impair your life. If you look at the international symbol of poison, the international symbol of poison is a crossbone with a skull in the middle. If someone brought you a cup with that symbol on it, would you drink from it? So don't let anyone bring poison into your life. Don't let anyone speak negativity into your life. Speak into your own life. It's gonna be some challenging days, but never, ever tell yourself, I had a bad day. Look in the mirror every day, every morning, every night, and tell yourself, hey, I had a character building day. I had a challenging day, but I look forward to learning from my challenges today to build myself for a better tomorrow. I want everyone in here to think about and learn to walk into your dream. Greater is he that is in you. Control your mind and don't let anyone steal your dreams. Most people in life, I've seen it hundreds of times, they go so far, but they pause on their dreams. Class of 2023, do not pause on your dreams. You've got family, You've got friends, everyone who supported you today to get to where you are. Do not pause on your dreams. Do not break control of your dreams and keep control of your mind. Because one thing about it, and I want you to remember this, we walk by faith and not by sight. Control your mind, because if you don't control your mind, the world will program your mind. If not in life, you control your destiny. See, it's a systematic system that every day you will wake up, you go to work, you will come home. Rotate that again. You'll wake up, go to work, and come home. And you'll do that, and you look at yourself for over 40 years, and you would say, hey, did I pause on my dreams? Did I let someone else speak into my life? Control your mind and walk into your own dreams. And it's gonna be, again, it's gonna be some, it's gonna be some pain that we're gonna go through. 
Don't just go through your pain, but grow through your pain. Learn from your mistakes and to rise from it. See, everyone sits back and look at success, and success was easy. I didn't build my first cell phone overnight. It took over 10,000 phones, and half of them blew up. <laughs> so learn from your mistakes. Learn from your missteps and build for better. As you graduate today from the College of Education, Leadership, Natural and Applied Sciences, and Applied Health and Nursing, know that your journey is just the beginning. Each one of you have a unique skill set and a passion that could change the world. And always remember that hope ignites creativity. Your education here provided to you with the local tools that you need can now turn into building something special and extraordinary. In my journey in life, creativity became a channel through which I could innovate and invent. As you already know, founding a telecommunications company was a bit challenging. But you too can invent. You too can innovate. And your creativity is only limited to by your imagination. And always remember this. Hope leads with compassion. Every morning I wake up, I make sure that I impact four people's lives. It could be something big, it could be something small. You could tell someone, hey, you look nice. Hey, have a great day, but speak positivity into them. I started the Figures Foundation, where 10% of our gross revenue goes to our foundation. Currently, we support four schools in Africa, over 1,200 students, thousands of scholarships domestically that we have given. During COVID-19, we purchased two million personal protective equipment and distributed it across the world. Make a difference while you're here. Lastly, I wanna talk about empathy. In your respective fields, you have the possibility and the chance to touch lives, to heal, to educate, to lead and innovate. Never lose sight of human passion. Because there's only one thing, what shall a man profit if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Impact a life while you can. In my own journey, I made it my mission to succeed by paying it forward. Invest it into your community. Don't leave here today and forget where you come from. Always remember to pay it forward. Class of 2023, the world awaits you. Embrace your mission, embrace your future, and lead with clarity. And hold on to hope as a guiding star that will lead you into uncharted territories, to the height that's unimaginable, and a life that can truly make a difference. Because again, as my life at the age of 12, I love computers, never thought I would end up building a cell phone and starting a telecommunications company and launching satellites. So with that, class of 2023, thank you Northern Caribbean University for this honor and congratulations graduates. And before I go, I, I never come empty handed, never. So I would like for Ms. Ashley Cummings, Amani Odoris, Audrey, So I brought a gift to the class of 2023. So we build some innovative, unique products. We build something that's far greater than any other competitors. So today we've got 500 figures earbuds that are wireless supercharging, automatic translation. So when you pair with your phone, over 16 languages, someone calls you speaking French, Chinese or Spanish will automatically pair. <laughs> this gift today is valued over 20 million Jamaican dollars. And this will be given to the president's office and the alumni relations office for each graduate to receive one today. The 
the NCU Alumni Federation, Mr. Harry Clayton in Florida will work with our office, the Figures Foundation, to get the devices to you. So. Again, class of 2023, I would like to hear it say, we did it. We did it. Ah, that wasn't enough energy. I want to do it again. We did it. I'm gonna, we're gonna do this again. Let's say it. We did it. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. We did it. Thank you so much. God bless you. Honored to be here. Announcement, and I think we would want to hear it. Thank you, Mr. President. So as we donate and partner and sponsor universities and schools all across the world, the Figures Foundation is going to be proud to be a sponsor and a partner to Northern Caribbean University. Thank you.
President Edwards, it gives me great pleasure to present to you and to the President of the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary, three doctoral candidates who, according to records submitted to me, have successfully completed the prescribed programs of study designed and outlined by the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary and the Association of Theological Schools and are eligible to be conferred with degrees from Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary. Northern Caribbean University is pleased to share this graduation ceremony with the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary, the IATS the fully accredited seminary of the Inter-American Division of Seventh-day Adventists. IATS offers graduate degrees in theology and religion in the affiliated institutions within the territory of the Inter-American Division. As one of the 10 campuses within the Inter-American Division territory, Northern Caribbean University is proud to have been a founding institution when this seminary came into existence. Operating on our campus under an affiliation agreement between our two institutions, the IATS has its administrative offices at the division headquarters in Miami, Florida, and its academic headquarters on the campus of Antillian Uni Adventist University in Puerto Rico. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to introduce and present Dr. Ephraim Velasquez, President of the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary. Dr. Velasquez. Thank you, Dr. Edwards. It's an honor to be here in this wonderful experience this morning. And Jamaica, this is the island where my teenage daughter was born. Please. I want her to listen to this uh, crowd as I tell them how uh, happy I am to greet them from her, from, from her. Because last uh, April at the Campari, she gave here her life to Jesus Christ. Praise God. So now she and myself, we are spiritual Jamaicans. Yemen. Yeah, it's a joy and a privilege for the seminary to operate in this most distinguished institution. As an archaeologist, I am thrilled about a hundred years, a celebration here at the Hill. A time to reflect on those who came behind us, like my mother, who will have been celebrating her anniversary today. We stand on the shoulders of men like Dr. Newton Cleghorn, We keep the memory of supportive spouses as As Sister Donnelly, where when she passed away, her last breath was precisely next to her husband as he was taking one of her demon classes. We celebrate outstanding research as pastors like André Pierre, done among challenges in present-day Haiti. The mission and project of Pastor Blythe with the Chinese community that will go beyond Jamaica, for sure. And you can imagine that today I'm excited to confer a degree to Sister White, Dr. K. White, president of her demon cohort. Let the name of the Lord be praised and other women to be inspired and motivated to serve in ministry. And now I call to our dedicated Dr. Simon Bamwale, 
our site coordinator here at Northern Caribbean University to kindly come forward to present the candidates who are eligible to be conferred with an IATS degree. Mr. President of the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary, I am pleased to present to you today three students of the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary who are eligible to receive the Doctor of Ministry degrees today. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Ministry degrees please stand up and approach the platform. For the Doctor of Ministry, I present K. White. Andre Peer.
Adlai Blythe. to thank the Lord for this achievement. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me by the law, the Adventist Accrediting Association and the Association of Theological Schools our accrediting organizations, and the Ministry of Higher Education of the Free and Associate State of Puerto Rico, the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary Board of Trustees, and on behalf of its faculty, I now confer upon all you the degree which you have been presented. Doctor in Ministry, I declare you graduated. Congratulations. Mr. President, it gives me great pleasure to present to you today, August 13, 2023, 720 candidates who are eligible to receive degrees from Northern Caribbean University. The conferral periods are December 2022, March 2023, August 2023. In December 2022, 76 candidates were conferred. In March 2023, 94 candidates were conferred. And today, August 2023, 550 students will be conferred. According to the records submitted to me by the university registrar, these candidates have successfully completed their prescribed programs of study and are therefore eligible to receive diplomas or degrees from Northern Caribbean University. Each candidate has completed the prescribed course of study in one department and has earned a diploma or degree in harmony with the stipulations of accrediting Association of Seventh-day Adventist Schools, Colleges, and Universities, the University Council of Jamaica, the Council of Professions Supplementary to Medicine, the Nursing Council of Jamaica, and the Dental Council of Jamaica. In this first commencement, we have 244 students who will be conferred um, here today. 36 candidates will be conferred from the College of Education and Leadership, 208 from the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing, nine candidates. <laughs> nine candidates from the School of Religion and Theology. We have one doctoral candidate 
from the College of Education and Leadership. The candidates will be presented by the deans of their respective colleges and school in the following order. Dr. Daniel Alida for the College of Education and Leadership, Professor Vincent Wright for the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Allied Health and Nursing, Dr. Simon Bambale for the School of Religion and Theology. And now, Mr. President, it gives me great pleasure to present to you today, August 13, 2023, one doctoral candidate who is eligible for a degree from Northern Caribbean University. According to the record submitted to me, this candidate has successfully completed our prescribed program of study and has successfully defended his dissertation. The candidate is from the College of Education and Leadership and will be presented by the Dean of the College, Dr. Daniel Alida. Mr. President, I now present from the College of Education and Leadership one candidate who is eligible to receive the Doctor of Philosophy degree in education from Northern Caribbean University. The candidate has completed the prescribed course of study in harmony with the stipulations of the Accrediting Association of Seventh-day Adventist Schools, Colleges, and Universities, and the University Council of Jamaica. Will the candidate for the Doctor of Philosophy in Education degree please stand and approach the platform? I am requesting Dr. Peter Keen, Chair of his Dissertation Committee, and Dr. Vivian Quarry, Academic Advisor, to please assist for the hooding of our candidate. Now, for the, doc for the Doctor of Philosophy degree, I present Another round of applause, please, for our new doctor, Dr. Paul Bourne. I'm requesting our president to do the conferral of the degree. Okay, we'll do it at the end for all the graduates. Okay, Mr. President, I now present from the College of Education and Leadership 
33 other candidates who are eligible to receive diplomas or degrees from Northern Caribbean University. Each candidate has completed the prescribed course of study in one department and has earned a diploma or degree in harmony with the stipulations of the accrediting association of the Seventh-day Adventist schools, colleges and universities, and the University Council of Jamaica. Nine of these candidates are graduating in absentia. Now, will the candidates for the master's degree in education please stand and approach the platform. For the Master of Arts degree in Education, I present Pauline Fullerton. Audrey Morgan Francis, highest distinction. Will the candidates for the postgraduate diploma in education please stand and approach the platform? For the postgraduate diploma degree in education, I present Michael Lipe. Will the candidate for the Bachelor of Arts degree in Early Childhood Education please stand and approach the platform? For the Bachelor of Arts degree in Early Childhood Education, I present Nadine Plummer, cum laude. We are the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts in Primary Teacher Education. Please stand and approach the platform.
For the Bachelor of Arts degree in primary education, I present Tanisha Cowell Francis, magna cum laude. <clears throat> Ireland, St. Fleur. Sandre Wilkie, cum laude. Brittany Young. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree in secondary education and also Bachelor of Science degree in secondary education, please stand and approach the platform. Iris Bailey. <laughs> Kean Clark. <laughs> Janae Gray. Dahlia Legister. <laughs> Marvia Lewin. <laughs> Nadine Morrison Barnaby. Sharonay Morgan, cum laude. Shadeen Sinclair. Gibran Windeth, cum laude. Micah Shea Thompson. Ocean Campbell. Chantel Clark, magna cum laude. Tiona Stewart. Faith Stirrup. Regina Knight. Shemoy McLeod.
Akalia Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request you to please give another round of applause to all our graduates in the College of Education and Leadership. Congratulations, everyone. Mr. President, I now present from the College of Natural and Applied Sciences and a nursing 200 218 candidates who are eligible to receive diplomas or degrees from Northern Caribbean University. Each candidate has completed the prescribed course of study in one department and has earned a diploma or degree in harmony with the stipulation of the Accrediting Association of Seventh-day Adventist schools, colleges, and universities, and the University Council of Jamaica, the Council of Professions Supplementary to Medicine, the Nursing Council of Jamaica, and the Dental Council of Jamaica. Eighteen of these candidates are graduating in absentia. Will the, master, will the candidates for the Masters of Public Health degree please stand and approach the platform? I hereby present Russell and Walker. <laughs> Tanya Edwards. <laughs> Deidrean Ennis Miller. Mr. President, for the first time, we are graduating students with degrees in agriculture. <laughs> Will the Bachelors of Science in Agriculture please stand and approach the platform? I hereby present Kayon Campbell, <laughs> Latea Kayvon Campbell, <laughs> Ruthan Hansen. Gabrielle
Gavaske Smith. Bachelors of Science in Environmental Geography, will you please stand and approach the platform? Akeem Lloyd Kennedy. <laughs> Bachelors of Science in Biochemistry. Please stand and approach the platform. I hereby present Philippa Cummings, Magna Cum Zakia Ohima Evans. <laughs> Lorenzo Gunter. Brene Tarake Roden. <laughs> Nadrian Time. Nayoka Tiffany Williams. All right, I, I'll call it up. Bachelors of Science in Agronomy, please stand and approach the platform. Gabriel Taylor. <laughs> Bachelors of Science in Biological Sciences, will you please stand and approach the platform? Abija Azania Anderson. <laughs> Amanda Beckford, cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Brown, cum laude. Elizabeth Danielle Burton, cum laude. <laughs> Kathleen C. Campbell, cum laude. <laughs> Sabrina Ashley Patrice Da Costa, cum laude.
Tyler Fonseca, Cum Laude. Jada Gabriel Francis. Melissa and Camille Lawson. Michaelia Williams. Sudian Nakela Myers. Tatiana Pierce. <laughs> Jessica Maria Stevens. Bachelors of Science in Computer and Information System. Will you please stand and approach the platform? I hereby present Brianna Nelson, come loud. Dejon Calicia Williams. Dejonia Brown. Sarah Williams. Mario Fagan. Andrew Gooden. Jorraine Robinson. Sharn Sappleton, cum laude. Jordan Gordon. Platform. I hereby present Robert McFarlane, Magna Cum Laude. Imani Adonis, Summa Cum Lord. Salik Johnson. Oh. 
Nakarda Richards, cum laude. Rashawn Hudson, cum laude. Computer Science Security Emphasis. Bachelor in Computer System Engineer. We'll now move on to Dental Hygiene, Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene. Will you please stand and approach the platform? I hereby present Julian Nicolas Salmon. Tavia Kelly. Dietetics, will you please stand and approach the platform? Rosanne Macon Shirley. <laughs> Vanessa Tina Turner, <laughs> cum laude. <laughs> in environmental science. Will you please stand and approach the platform? I hereby present Shania Thompson, cum laude. Romaria Beecher, cum laude. In information technology. Will you please stand and approach the platform? Kandria Alfred. Daltonet Griffiths. <laughs> Javari Wilshire. Danielle Marie Shields. Bachelor 
Arts in Mathematics Donovan and Reyes. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Actuarial Science. Hereby present Azel Williams, magna cum laude. Garcia Gordon, summa cum laude. Ashley Cummins, good Lord. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Okay. Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology. Please stand and approach the platform. Magna cum laude, sorry. Brandy Bedward. <laughs> Zobrian Brown, cum laude. Denval Campbell, cum laude. Shanage Clark. Stacy and Clark. Sa Sasha Gay Dawson, Magna Cum Laude. Tasharna Foster, Cum Laude. Sherdell Francis. Natasha Levy. Emike Lewis. Shantoy Martin. Shoshana Milton. Kalisha Plummer, cum laude. Rihanna Prendergast. Mark Ellis Far.
Corona Smith. Diavion Spence. Paul Watson. Krista Waysom. Vanessa Williams, come Lord. Nasin Williams, magna cum Lord. Now we approach the college, the department. <laughs> <laughs> the Department of Nursing, please stand and approach the platform. <laughs> I hereby present Anita Francis. Chevel Gale, cum laude. Shadine Francis. Norjale Watson, Norjale Watson. Shannon Haynes. Michaelia Thomas. Brianna Forbes. Chantel McFarlane. Peter Gay Forbes. Lanique Scott. Kimberly Griffiths. Shavoy Gray. Britonia Chisholm. Ravina Blake. Peter Gay Thompson. Shadeen Brackett. Mayomi Tucker. Natalia Surgeon, magna cum laude. Anthony Phillips, cum laude. Donne Hansel. Denish Daus. Sanikia 
Alice Cum Laude. Tamia Robertson. Samanique McClarthy. Fiona Lewis, come Lord. Janine Melva Andrew. Lisa Gay, Lonique Barnaby, come Lord. Aliyah Barrett, cum laude. Tashe Carnegie. <laughs> Natasha Bent. Cheryl Sanderson, come Lord. Kenya Sims. Jada Tuller. Vanessa Rodney. Sabrina South, come Lord. Onelia Gardner. Keneva Smalling. Shanil Francis. Nashara Sherlin. Oshin Riley. Brittany Jodian Brown, come loud. Deandra Mitchell, come loud. Zendida Maxwell, come loud. Jamoni Odisha Bowen. Serena Kadian Braham. Serika Griffiths, magna cum laude. Alicia Williams, cum laude. Shade Nelson. Karima Ford.
Siobhan Thomas Kumlaar. Byron Edwards, cum laude. Cedric Monroe. Shannon McGrowder. Ashley Williamson, cum laude. Carol Perry. Cherie Spinnock. Shelly Ann Francis. Anika Blair. Nebula Blackstock. Gabrielle Fagan. Chevelle Smith. Britannia Taylor. Sophia Crystal Brown. John against Spence. Shimona Mullings. Ruth Thompson. Kedisha Higgins. Shemar Hutchinson. Skeeta Grace, come loud. Shantria Copeland, come loud. Martina de Aguilar. Chanel Pompey, magna cum laude. Cherise Douglas, cum laude. Tanisha Williams, cum laude. Renee McIntosh. Shadena McInnes. Rashika Peter. Brianna Williams. Petrina Royal, cum laude.
Michael Henry. Kemoya Russell. Nikitha Summon Cum Laude. Jenica Taylor. Jordan Heyman. Jana Roach. Brit Key. Ashley Hall. Aliyah Cooper. Lishania Whiteley. Brittany Williamson. Avery Grant, cum laude. Marvet Kennedy. Keshana Young, cum laude. Sasha Lee Bailey. Anne-Marie Salmon. Tamoya Russell. <laughs> Roxanne Carroll. Jada Thompson. Tony Ann Plummer. Carmelia Gardiner. Christina Lee Witter. Daniel P. Cum Laude. Joby K. Evans. Peter Gay Coleman, Cum Laude. Marion Redway. Today's Bryce. Kelicia Smith. Jalis Alvia Ramsey Brittany Drummond Casia Hales, Cum Lord.
Kimberly Reed. I'm going to ask all the graduates from the college to stand at this time. All, you, all of you, please stand. And I'm going to ask the audience to put your hands together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have done well. Thank you. Mr. President, I now present from the School of Religion and Theology nine candidates who are, who are eligible to receive diplomas or degrees from Northern Caribbean University. Each student has completed the prescribed course of study in one department and has earned a diploma or a degree in harmony with the stipulations of the Accrediting Association of the Seventh-day Adventist Schools, Colleges, and University, and the University Council of Jamaica. Will the candidates of the School of Religion and Theology please stand and approach the podium? The Bachelor of Arts degree in religion, I present Byron Anglin, come loud. Giovanni Brown. Hector Caden. Religion and theology, I present Keith Cole, cum, cum laude. Kuwain Ferron, cum laude. Ordain McIntyre. Zagario Richards, magna cum laude. In praise of the Lord for what he has done to the School of Religion and Theology, we clap the, the hands to the Lord.
Are you ready? If you are ready, I invite you to stand. Are you ready? Long time. Well, this is, this is the... This is the moment you have been waiting for, some four or more years, some less or greater. And so through the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors of Northern Caribbean University as president, and by the authority of the Accrediting Association of Seventh-day Adventist schools, colleges, and universities, University Council of Jamaica, Joint Board of Teacher Education, Council of Professional Allied to Medicine, Nursing Council of Jamaica, Dental Council of Jamaica, Jamaica Association of Professionals in Nutrition and Dietetics, I now confer on each of you the degree for which you have been presented. Bachelor of, Bachelors of Arts in Religion, Bachelor of Arts in Religion and Theology, Doctor of Philosophy in Education, Master of Arts in Education, Postgraduate Diploma in Education, Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Teacher Education, Bachelor of Arts in Primary Teacher Education, Bachelor of Arts in Secondary Teacher Education, Bachelor of Science in Secondary Teacher Education, Master of Public Health, Master of Science in Information Systems, Master of Science in Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Applied Environmental Geography, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Bachelor of Science in Biological Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Bachelor of Science in Agro Agronomy, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Science, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Information Science, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Bachelor of Science in Computer Systems Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, <laughs> Associate of Science in Information Technology, Associate of Science in Computer Information Science, Associate of Science in Biology, Associate of Science in Dental Hygiene, Associate of Science in Dietetics, with all the rights, privileges, okay, I, we, I'm pausing the conferral at this time because there is one student who inadvertently was left out, so we would like, keep standing, we would like to recognize him marching across the stage, and then I will continue. <laughs> Nelson. At NCU, we leave no one behind.
So through the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors of Northern Caribbean University as President and by the authority of all that I have mentioned before, the associations that I have mentioned before, with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining, this 13th day in the month of August, in the year of our Lord, 2023, I, I confer on you your respective degrees. Congratulations. You may now shift your tassels. applause for all our graduates. Graduates, please remain standing. Woo. Yes. Please remain standing as we replete our graduates service pledge. It is page 23 in your programs. And we will read it together. All right, let's go. Today, as I graduate from Northern Caribbean University, I pledge to maintain in my personal life and professional practice the moral and ethical principles taught by this institution, and I will, with God's help, do so wherever I am called to serve. In all my dealings, I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity always taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all. I will seek to apply the knowledge, experience, and skills I have acquired to build up any organization of which I am a part, advancing its well-being, that of my profession and of society as a whole. I will university always seeking to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation, while striving always to provide committed professional service to country and to God. Congratulations, everyone. To everyone, and especially the illustrious class of 2023, good morning. No, no. Good morning. Wonderful, wonderful. What if I told you today that there's a new pandemic? Ongoing studies are showing that exactly 100% of those whose names are listed as part of the graduating class of 2023, are poised even now, at this very moment, to infect the world with change, with new perspectives, with the values instilled in us during our time here on the Hill, to infect the world with everything that identifies us as the class celebrated during the 100th graduation exercises of the Northern Caribbean University here in Mandeville. The position that we occupy today is an interesting one and a common piece of advice that's given to anyone who's seeking to cross at the stoplight from main campus to Thai Center and so on is to look both ways before you cross the street. 
And today, that's the advice that we're going to take as we seek to cross this new road, looking both ways, into the past and into the future. Let's start at the beginning. Seated here today, I'm sure we can all recall when we began our university journey years ago. See, it was during our orientation activities, before we even selected classes, that this new pandemic began to brew. It was right then and there that we began to embrace the mission. And that mission was, in a nutshell, to do whatever it took to achieve the goal of sitting here as graduates today. And what a mission it was, complete with tasks of selecting courses, checkpoints of final exams every semester, and the various side quests that dotted our pathway. There was the side quest of networking that pulled those of us who were shy into social settings that helped us to form connections for life. There was the side quest of learning new coping mechanisms as we unlocked a unique environment, hitherto unconquered, and not because of the new pandemic that we're speaking about today, but the other one that forced us away from the physical space that many of us were just getting used to and into the online world. And then there was the side quest of finances, one that required many to embrace the mission a little tighter, since it was one that hindered not a few from envisioning the future. However, even in the face of such difficulties. The members of the class of 2023 knew both their size and their limited. And in times of distress and joys alike, we turned to one far higher, far bigger, and unlimited. But we're at the crossroad, and we're looking both ways. We're not just looking to the past, but now we're looking towards the future, envisioning it, if you will having embraced the mission for the past four, five, six, maybe even seven or more years, what sort of future class of 2023 can you envision? I'll tell you what I'm envisioning. A world-class pandemic exceeding the likes of any we've ever seen before. Yet, where once there were masks, I envision a future where purpose is unleashed where once there was social distancing, I envision unity in the goal of illumining the world and making a difference. And where once there is an antidote sought, I envision a novel wave of movers and shakers that is such a blessing to the society that it infects and affects that stemming it is the last thing on anyone's mind. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating class, we did it. But let me hasten to say, we will keep doing it. Your streak of excellence does not, cannot, ought not end here. As members of the 100th class, excellence is who we are. And we have been equipped to envision a future in every sphere of society that holistically represents the mission that we have embraced. We've looked both ways. So now, we can cross with safety into what lies ahead, oriented to serve and ever guided by our Father's word. Congratulations, class of 2023. Walk good. Good morning, everyone. Embrace the mission, envision the future, is the appropriate theme that led me to where I am today. It wasn't an easy task to have a full-time job and studying with no day off or time off, not to mention taking care of a family. When I submitted my application to NCU, I asked God whether I was making the right decision and where the tuition would come from. He said to me, but wait, I never you just got promoted one month ago to a new position. All I could say was, sorry, Lord, thank you, right timing. Can you believe it? God had already made the provision to finance this venture. 
I am confident that this was a shared experience when we didn't know where the tuition would come from. Yes. When we didn't know where the tuition would come from, it came right on time because the Lord knew we had a mission. To embrace implies commitment. We were most definitely committed to the task ahead. As the famous Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. We saw ourselves successfully completing our programs despite the length of time. Yes, that was the mission. Though there were challenges, we persevered with the help of Almighty God. Many of us can attest to the fact that it was difficult when the assignments kept us up until 4 o'clock in the morning or when the deadline was 11.59 p.m. and we knew it was difficult to meet and we would have to beg our lecturers for more time. Some of us were always begging for more time. Boy, they must be tired away. <laughs> or should I say they must have been tired of us. Can you recall a time when we had presentations to be done and some group members were nowhere to be found? <laughs> when calling their phones, all we heard was, the number you've dialed is not assigned. Please check the number and dial again. <laughs> Those were some of the challenges. But because we were committed, we persisted. And thanks be to God, today we're here celebrating the victory. This is what we refer to as embracing the mission. To envision implies visualization. Now, what is the purpose of this noble venture after all purpose? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Let us embrace these words as we envision a future of excellence. Be optimistic. Know that you have a role to play in society. Do not put any limit on what God can accomplish through you. Today, on this historic occasion, on behalf of the graduating class of 2023, I am most delighted to express gratitude to God who has kept us thus far. To our lecturers, family members, and everyone else who motivated us to enroll in a program who said to us the hardest part of the journey is to make a start. Just look at us now, we did it. Proverbs, six, Proverbs 16 verse three says, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established, amen? amen. Graduates, we are now charged with a very critical task to impact the world and make a change. Thank you, DJL. Thank you, NCU, for nurturing and propelling us to be that beacon that will shine wherever we go as we embraced the mission and envisioned the future. Congratulations, class of 2023. May God bless you all. Mr. President, having listened to our graduates, I am very satisfied that we are going to be having a wonderful time. The future of the Alumni Association is in good hands. Commendations are in order, and therefore, Without further ado, I induct you into the Alumni Association with the full right privilege appertained. Ladies and gentlemen, having said that, I know you have no problem joining me in reciting the Alumni Pledge. So I'm going to ask you to stand, and I'm going to ask all graduates to stand so we can recite the alumni pledge. I know we are not just doing it. We are doing it because we mean it. Let's stand, ladies and gentlemen. All alumni, all graduates. And you're gonna read it with me. After three, on page 
23, and it's not coincidental, 2023, page 23. And you're going to go, one, two. We hereby pledge our loyalty to Northern Caribbean University, our alma mater, and they, upon which she was established. We pledge to nurture, support, and give generously of our professional expertise in helping her to achieve plans and projects that she may propose to advance in our society and to improve standard of living for all. We recommit ourselves to our continued progress through our support of alumni chapters and other forms of expressions of gratitude for the way in which she has helped us realize our dreams. We ensure that for the students and the generation yet unborn, our alma mater will be able to continue her long-standing tradition. And having said that, you may be seated. I am imploring you, therefore, to ensure that you complete the destination survey. It is critically important. And I want to say one last thing. For the past week, my wife heard me speaking something, and she said to me, what are you saying? Are you talking to yourself? I said, I am soliloquying. And I tell you why it's important. I said at that time, your net worth is equal to your net work. And the speaker has actually ratified that statement. Before you have been inducted into the alumni body, we have paid you, and therefore, we look forward to giving you the earbud. That signifies that the registration fee has been already paid. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Look forward to see you tomorrow and beyond. Let us stand as we get prepared for the benediction. As we get prepared, gentlemen removing their head guard, our God, of, our God of creation, life, knowledge, and restoration, the one who rescued us from the dumpsters of life, the claws of uncertainty, the stormy experiences, the circumstances and situations that baffled us, but took us to lofty heights, took us to the elevation of Northern Caribbean University, where our hopes and dreams to be fulfilled today as we leave this assembly, these hallowed transformative halls of learning to fulfill your master plan for each life, plans to prosper, plans not to harm any, plans to give, a, give each a hope and a future. As each leave to become famous, Lord, we should say more famous. We heard all the cheers for these graduates, but Lord, we know that they'll go to innovate, they'll leave to lead, They'll leave to make fortunes, but Lord, they'll always remember from whence they came and the God that took them through. We pray and pronounce on each the strength of God to sustain each, the power of God to preserve, the hands of God to protect, the way of God to direct, and the love of God to brighten the corner where each will be placed and to bring hope to a waiting world. We thank you, O God, also for bringing to lives of each Parents, family members, administrators, staff, faculty members, alumni and friends, and even today our commencement speaker, who have provided each graduate and shown to each graduate that there is a community of cheerleaders, a community of supporters, a community of benef benefactors, and to bring hope. So as we depart today, we say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, no forth and forevermore. Amen.
Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 commencement exercise of Northern Caribbean University has ended.